Come along with me as I show you what you can see at every single mile of the 18 and a half mile long Chicago Lakefront Trail. Let's get started. At mile one, you can see a couple of beaches, some art celebrating the nearby Edgewater neighborhood and this crazy art piece. At mile two, you can see possibly the steepest hill in all of Chicago. Yep, Chicago is very flat. At mile three, our first hidden gem, the Peace Garden. This tranquil spot is somehow completely insulated from surrounding noise and is one of the most relaxing spots in the city. At mile four, boom, another hidden gem, the Jarvis Bird Sanctuary, filled with birds galore. Fittingly, just outside is a totem pole of a thunderbird. At mile five, you can see some iconic art pieces. Self-portrait in the AIDS Garden, the Chevron art piece, and the half-buried Buddha heads. At mile six, we get to our first phenomenal skyline views. Plus, we're finally along the lake. Mile six also contains North Avenue Beach and a reminder of a 2021 TikTok trend. At mile seven, there is the best lake swimming spot in the entire city, Oak Street Beach. At mile eight, we pass Buckingham Fountain, one of the largest fountains in the world that was inspired by one of the fountains from the Palace of Versailles. At mile nine, a quick lakeside bird garden. We're at the halfway point stay with me. The best is yet to come. And mile 10 hits us with some controversy. The Balbo Monument, a 2000 year old column taken from an ancient port town outside of Rome that was given to Chicago by by one, Benito Mussolini, the fascist dictator of Italy that we fought during World War II. At mile 10 is also the firefighter and paramedic Memorial Park, another quiet and peaceful spot. Mile 11 has my favorite secret spot in the entire city of Chicago and somewhere I bet 99% of people have never been to. Follow this easy to miss path and you'll find La Ronda Paracata, a sculptural ring of interlocking butterfly forms. It is always completely empty here except for a few birds. It's insulated by the lake and nature and offers phenomenal skyline views. Speaking of skyline views, my actual favorite spot for skyline photos overall can be found here at mile 12. At mile 13, you can find the Oakwood Beach and the Hidden Mermaid, which has another fascinating story. It was carved by four gorilla artists entirely in secret in 1986, 14 years later, finally found, and was speculated to have been a historic treasure from the Gilded Age or World's Fair when it actually was just created by a Southside steel worker and his friends. At mile 14, there's these porta potties. Check inside, and you may see me desperately trying to pull myself together because I naively decided to actually run for this entire video. Mile 15 has Promontory Point. At mile 16, we pass some scenic bricks along the water and 63rd Street Beach. Mile 17 has this beautiful building that makes you suddenly feel like you're in South Carolina. At at mile 18, you may see me desperately chugging towards the finish line, and at the end of the lakefront trail, you can find me incredibly sweaty and smelly and feeling really, really bad for the Uber driver that has to take me home. I am so sorry about this.